Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. It is Gila here and I hope you guys are all well. It's been a very long time and I've just been a very busy lady. It's wedding season and I'm just doing... I've got a lot of work. I've got a lot of work. Um, so today's video is how to put on a wig. My version of it. It may not be the right version. I am not a pro. I still learning my very first wig in my entire life so bear with me if I don't do it right but then I think I'm doing it right because I feel like it looks nice um so if you guys want to see how I put a wig and everything I use and like my tips and whatever please continue watching so before I go ahead with um, showing you guys how I actually apply the wig on, I'm going to go through all the things that I have within my like kit and I'll like explain kind of why it's there and what it's good for. So one of the first things you're going to need in your kit of products to apply a wig is obviously the wig itself. This wig is a lace wig, so there's lace all over here to make it look a lot more natural. Um, it's a 13 by 4 so it's like 13 inches across and then 4 inches that way so you could do like your partings and stuff which is really handy um, it is I believe 22 or 24 inches it's real human hair I've washed it with like purple shampoo a couple times I've washed it you can curl it you can straighten it you can do whatever you can dye it if you wanted to now I got her from Aliexpress everything by the way will be linked below so I got her from Aliexpress and I know Aliexpress is a little bit scary and even for me I was just like, the day I bought it I was like Pff. Um, but yeah I just like literally closed my eyes I was like bismillah and I bought it and like yeah. Thing is like with Aliexpress as long as you go through and you see the reviews and you can see A it's a good seller. Um, they've got loads of reviews, people have posted pictures of them. I felt a little bit more safe and obviously at the end of the day it is still a risk because hey you never know but I like it I'm happy with it and I think we're good so um, with the wig by the way guys when you get a wig you can't just put it on and walk out your door it does need to be customized I was lucky enough to have one of my good friends Zaina this is her Instagram page she helped me um, and you can reach out to her if you did want to but she did help me a lot um, with a the customization of the wig and B also she taught me how to place the wig on I am still not a pro by far not a pro I feel like I'm still learning like wig application is hard but I've learned like my way of doing it and I feel like it works no one can ever tell like I'm wearing a wig so um but yes it does need to be customized so you do need to like cut the hairline according to your hairline um it's around the ears you need to cut it you need to pluck out hairs because sometimes at the front of it over here can seem a bit like too full and unrealistic so you need to pluck out hairs it's it's a bit of a process but once your wig is customized from there onwards applying your wig like on it's it's like easy peasy but just the initial aspect of getting it ready for you and your head shape and hairline shape and all that jazz um so it will take a little bit of time, but then, like I said, once it's done, wig application is easy. So that's the wig. Alongside the other things you're going to need, you're going to need a hairdryer, a flat comb, hot comb, sorry, hot comb. This um, is essential, essential, guys. Um, everything, by the way, will be listed below. Everything. I will list everything below. Um, you're gonna need the got to be blasting free spray glue. That's another thing, very important. Um, you're gonna need a setting lotion of your choice, something without alcohol. You don't want alcohol in there. Now, I use one of these elastic uh, headband things to like keep all my hair in place. You're gonna also want a um, elastic band, so once your hair wig is glued on you place this all over and it just sort of glues it keeps it in place um you're gonna want something flat and like hard so like either rat tail comb or like something just something so you can just like be pressing things down without using your fingers um you're gonna need a comb if you want a brush also one of these so i'm gonna use this again later for my wig um surgical spirit I'll tell you why in later on 
um, and that's about it. So the reason I've gone into this wig venture is <sighs> my poor hair has never had a break. It's genuinely always styled, always curled, always straightened, always bleached, always something is always happening to it. It's never just done nothing. And um, I just, oh, and being like doing all those modeling photo shoots and stuff, it really did take a toll on my hair. Whereas before, like I just blow dried it once every while and it was fine. Like it, it was living its life, it was okay. But all those photo shoots really did take a toll on my hair and it was just breaking and obviously being bleached as well doesn't help. So the main purpose behind this was I just wanted to give my hair a break. This way my hair is underneath the wig, tied up, got treatments and stuff in it. It's living its absolute best life right now. And it's actually grown a lot. So since I originally cut my hair till now, I, ooh, when did, I think it was about up to here until now, that's quite a bit of a jump for it to grow. Um, in my opinion, I think that's quite a bit of a growth, but why is because over the last month or bit, I've been wearing a wig. I've not done anything to my hair. I might blow dry it if I have to, but like it's a rough blow dry just to dry it. Um, I do nothing, nothing. And I think my hair is thanking me for it. Um, so I'm gonna be doing this for a little while just till my hair comes back to normal. But also it's fun guys, cause like, now I know I don't need to bleach my own hair. I can just let my hair be. I'll probably go back to being brunette now, but if I ever wanted to be blonde, I have the option. So whilst my hair is tied up underneath, like I said, I do put treatments and stuff on. So at the moment I'm using the Jamaican Black Castor Oil Strengthening and Restoring Styling Lotion. Alongside that, I use a hair oil, um, at the time being it's the LV hair oil. I just want to nourish my hair. I just want to put like good things into it and that's what's in my hair and I just tie it up easy peasy um did I forget anything I think that's it I think that's all the products I use if anything comes up I'll tell you later on in the video so first things first obviously I've already got my products in my hair I don't need to reapply them into my hair I take my rubber elastic headband thingy my bob and I just place this on and this is great because it keeps all the little hairs out the way you don't need to worry about it like coming forward into the wig which is a little bit annoying now my friend Zaina did teach me how to do it with the wig cap and not gonna lie to you guys, it's a bit long, it's a bit of a long process. Um, I just prefer to wear it daily, take it off at the end of the day and reapply it on the next day. And honestly, honestly, this process takes me about 10 to 15 minutes. I've, I've learned to be quick in it and um, I just get it done really quickly. So as you can see, I've put the rubber headband on. This supposedly was meant to be one of those things which you don't need to wear your, you don't need to use glue, you just put your wig on and it sticks as lies. So anyways, I tie my hair up at the back, you can cane row your hair, the smaller the cane rows the better. Um, I just, my hair's short, I don't really need to cane row. I just tie it up in a little ponytail and with some bobby pins, ooh, with some bobby pins I just tie it up. So it's flat against my head. Ah, so. Right. The next part, okay. Like I said, the wig has to be customized. Mine is. So I know I'm ready to go. So I placed my wig on. Ooh. Oh, one thing guys, before I forget, sorry. Ooh. At the bottom of your wig, at the back of the bottom, you're gonna have these elastic bands which will enable you to tighten your wig accordingly. Um, so I'm just, 
gonna tighten that so they're hooked in as you can see uh, cool. it's got little combs and stuff inside as well so if you wanted to like secure it in you can do And we're done. No, I'm joking. <laughs> so you're just gonna, I'm just gonna comb it through just to take out any knots, any messiness. You're gonna be doing a lot of combing, guys, by the way, with the wig. I do, anyways. Sort of create my parting again because I got a little bit messy. So when your wig is on your head, you're gonna play around with it, adjust it, see where you want it to sit. Um, like, do you like where your middle parting is looking? Um, where is it? Where the ear bits? Like, just need to like sort of. <clears throat> Play around and pretend to like see what it would look like if it was glued on. I'm happy with what I'm seeing. -ish. So I am happy with what I'm where it is right now. So I'm gonna take my headband again here and move the hairs all up the way. Actually, top tip, guys. So uh, you're gonna brush your hairs out, and what would be handy if you wanted to? I don't need to because of um, it's already sort of in. Take your setting lotion, spray it at the front of your hairline and then like comb your hair out so then that way all your hair is going to be out of your face and as you're doing the glue and the sprays it's not going to like inter intervene and like annoy you guys As you can see, hair is all out the way. You can see the headband, you can see my own hairline. Now, this bit, you're gonna be getting your got to be blasting free spray glue and it is cold, so be, be prepared. Be prepared, guys, because it's not gonna feel nice. So what you're gonna be doing here is you're gonna be spraying your hairline, not your actual hairline, sorry, just like this part of your forehead and all around. You're gonna do it in sections. You're not gonna do it all in one go because A, slow and steady uh, wins the race and if you do it, it'll just get really messy. Just do, like I do three sections. I do this part, that part, and then that part every time. And I am going to also make my life easier and clip it all out the way. Okay, so. You're gonna, I do three layers of sprays. So I spray, blow dry, spray, 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 blow dry, spray, blow dry. And the idea is it needs to get tacky. And yeah, and then you can stick it down. So I'm just gonna show you guys. two layers on here what I do is I put my first layer here 
So then that gets tacky. By the time I do my third layer and stick that pit down, I would have like had like my second layer here that would have got tacky. Like it just speeds up the process that way a little bit. How I've figured it out. Three layers here, two here, none here. So what I'm gonna do now is bring this down, press it against my, my forehead, sort of try and flatten it as much as I can, and then taking the back of this what I do is I just press it press it down and you're just going to be basically pressing it down at this point that's your job at the moment pressing it down and if you need to with that so remember now we've got two sprays on the side and none on here so I'm gonna give this side its first spray give this side its third spray This side is getting more and ta more tacky. I'm going to do this side's second spray. So grabbing the corner of this side, I'm just going to like stretch it down and press it against That's right.
So I'm happy with that. I feel like everything's really nice and secure. So for the next last bit, you're gonna take your elastic band. I've already like secured it at the back. And just like a headband, I'm gonna place it on, but over the areas we have glued. So all over the hairline area. And I'm just gonna leave it there for about five minutes. Um, you can leave it as long as you want, um, up to 20 minutes, 30 minutes, um, five minutes I think is the minimum, I think, but um, during this time I guess you can go eat or do whatever you want, but it just needs to stay so everything can just sort of like be flat, glued and dry up and stuff. Um, I will be back when this is done. Alrighty, so it's been about 15 minutes. I got busy with stuff so what you're next gonna do is take this off and oh my goodness it's the best feeling in the world because oh, it really hurts your ears so with wigs by the way guys you can if you do it with the bald cap way and you can actually like wear the wig continuously for a couple of few days maybe a week or so and I did that initially in the start. I tried to like sleep in it, but then like you have to wear this always and I ain't about that life. It was just too painful. No thanks. So now this is why I just like take it off every day. So I want to say we are pretty secure. We're pretty good. So now you're going to just slowly, gently brush through Hopefully nothing is glued down. You're gonna brush through the hair. Oh my goodness. Next, if you feel like there's still glue on your face, you're gonna take your surgical spirit and a cotton pad and clear up anywhere. And luckily for me today, that didn't happen. All right, sometimes it does happen, so I do get a bit of glue residue here. Um, I feel, hold on. I might do it for the sake of the video. But I feel like I'm okay. So just a bit of surgical spirit or alcohol, and it like alcohol on the cotton pad. And you're just gonna wipe, wipe, wipe. Like I said, I feel like I'm good. Right. At this point, you can start styling your hair. Now, I already have a middle parting and I'm quite happy to keep to that. Um, I have in the past blow dried like my side fringe and stuff and it's all good, but be very careful to not pull and lift because then the glue will come off and lift but um at this point also you want to make sure your hot comb is turned on and ready now remember when i said when you get your wig fast it needs to be customized and like whatnot so i have already gone through layer by layer of my hair spraying my setting lotion and combing through each layer to sort of flatten it down I've already done that, so I'm not going to do it for this video. However, initially when you just get it, and also when you wash your hair and then restyle it, you're going to have to go through that process every time because then it will look like extra poofy and it will look like a little bit too big. So you don't want that. You want it to be as flat as possible against your head to make it look as natural as possible. Like sort of something like that. I still always take the hot comb anyways and just do the roots over here just because I have like little short bits in the wig which I could pull out if I wanted to but I ain't gonna um, but just I always go through those little bits and just flatten it down even more um, what else was I gonna tell you guys yes yeah, so I'm just gonna go through the hair spray some of this setting lotion 
brush it through. That's flat and I'm happy with that. The next bit I will be just styling my fringe bit. Also I've cut my fringe so as you can see these little short bits all I did was cut like a little triangle and just cut the ends. Um, I might do layers in the hair. I don't know yet. I'm going to go finish off the rest of my makeup and I'll be right back. So my makeup is done and obviously hair is done too. And that's it guys. I hope I made this video as easy as possible um, and easy to follow. Um, obviously like I'm not a pro, far from it. I feel like there's still so much more to learn in terms of like doing the edges. But at the moment because my hair covers the front. And the edges, I'm just like, I could get away with it. But like, if I was to tie my hair up, I feel like I would need to like perfect that skill. Um, regarding removing the wig, in the evenings when I take my makeup off, I take my makeup off with this bad boy. And because it's got a bit of oil in it, I use that into the hairline and it sort of does release the glue but then afterwards I do go in with the surgical spirit and very slowly and very gently I try and release as much of the glue from my skin sometimes that got to be glue does get into my hairline it's inevitable uh, but I just work really slowly with it don't rush because you're going to ruin your edges and we don't want that at all so yeah so that's what i do um and then also like once the wig is off again back with the surgical spirit there will be glue residue on the lace so i try and like rub it off and take it off regarding the wigs the wigs the wig i do wash it every two weeks i don't know if i'm doing the wrong thing but i don't feel like it needs to be washed that often um because i don't do anything to it just i stick it on so every two weeks i, I wash it um just to make it a little bit more fresher um 
yeah i think that's about it i can't recall anything else i need to tell you guys about the wig other than that um obviously like i said from the start guys i am not pro far from it a lot for me to learn on this like wig application um but this is the way i do it and i feel like it works like there's a lot of people that don't even realize like they see me in real life and they don't realize that i'm wearing a wig so clearly i might be doing something right here i don't know um but anyways guys i hope you guys have enjoyed this video i hope you have taken away something from it everything is listed down below every single thing i use is listed below um i love you lots and until next time